I'm going to show you one of the best ways to shut down any kind of trips formation spread three by one trips formation. This is trips tied in. This is U trips. Uh, any of those kind of formations, we're going to show you how to slow it down with a concept that can transfer no matter what formation you're going to be running. Now, in this video, we're going to be running this out of the nickel 3-3 Cub because I believe the nickel 3-3 Cub is the best defense in the entire game right now. And if you want to get my entire nickel 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, uh, it's only 10 bucks. You can get that by becoming a Patreon member. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. Patreon members get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of the updates. We've already dropped 15 uh, offensive and defensive ebooks for Madden 24. And we're going to be dropping more uh, later this week. So make sure that you're in the Patreon. That way you can take your game to the next level. But I want to talk to you today specifically about understanding a really cool coverage concept for defending trips, tight end type sets. So a couple things real quick. In your coaching adjustments, what you want to do is you want to uh, go ahead and go to uh, ball in our defense. I like to put this on swap ball. I think it does help. And then really outside of that, the only thing we really need to do for this is we're going to turn our zone coverage on to match, okay? We just want to make sure match is on. Now, the other big thing with this concept, we don't want any zone drop set, okay? We don't want any zone drop set. That is a big important piece. And then what I like to do is uh, set a very specific audible in your audibles, and that is the Sam Will Blitz 3. You really could do this out of anything, but I do think cover three um, is the best base for this, especially if you want to play some zone coverage behind it. You can do this out of man, and I'll try to show you both in this video. Okay, so we're just going to come out in really whatever we want out of 3-3 because we're going to be audibling into nickel 3-3 cub. And when we're playing trip sets, what I like about um, Sam Will Blitz 3 is you're going to get a better um, you're going to get a better alignment for trip sets, a little bit more a little more balanced. So you'll see here Sam Will Blitz 3. Now what I like to do is just you know keep my user in the middle of the field. And essentially, here's how we're going to set this play up. What we're going to do is we're going to put the safety that is on the trips tight end uh, or on the trips side of the formation. We are going to put him into an inside quarter. We're then going to take the outside cornerback that is over the top of the number one receiver, and we are going to put him into an outside quarter. The last thing we're going to do for the actual concept is we are going to man up the number two receiver in the trip set. So in this example, it's going to be Devin Hester. So essentially what's going to happen is this inside quarter is going to relate to the number three receiver. This outside quarter is going to take the number one receiver, and then this guy is going to take the number two receiver. What this does for us defensively is it allows us essentially to play a box and one zone style of defense on the uh, tight end and the running back. So essentially every all of the other resources that we have on the on the defense, we can now allocate to defending the tight end. And what I like to do really to stop this very simply, I love this outside third on the right side. OK, and the, you can literally just run whatever you want uh, with the rest of the players on the field. Um, I do like to put maybe like a vertical hook to the linebacker. If I'm going all out coverage, I'll probably put a vertical hook to the linebacker. And then over here we have the seam flat. You can, you can again, whatever you want to do. Uh, but what I want to do real quick is I just want to show you the main primary concept here. So we're going to actually leave. We're not going to put any pressure on the field and we're going to leave it just like this. And I just want you to watch this left-hand side. What you're going to notice is we're going to do a very popular route combo. It is basically the, the street crosser with the backside dig. Very popular. And I'm just going to block my running back. And what you're going to see here is the quarter zones are going to match this absolutely incredibly well, as you can see right there. Now, don't worry about the tight end. We'll talk about that in just a second. But you see, the biggest thing that I want to show you is the best routes and trips tight end, honestly, they are either the inside trips receiver the outside trips receiver or the tight end. That those are the best players on the field um, in trip side end. So what you're going to see, the quarter match is here, and then you're also getting matched back here. So you see here, this guy's basically going to be playing this in route and man to man coverage. And again, like I said, don't worry about the tight end. We're going to talk about that in a second. So very, 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 very good foundational coverage for trip side end. Now the next thing I want to show you is another popular route combo from trip side end, and that is if they want to run. Uh, let's say they want to run to, you know, like a, a street corner flat. Okay, so if they want to run uh, PA slot corner, and they'll do this number on you. This is why we want to man up that middle trips receiver. What you're going to see here, that outside or that quarter is going to match this guy to the corner, and a lot of times he's going to play that. Now, uh, the other big tip that I have for you with this coverage shell 
is go ahead and shade your coverage outside. I think that that will significantly help you um, just in terms of the way that it's going to play again, specifically against corner routes um, in this year's game. Some of this, some of the locomotion and movement is kind of honestly, like it's just, it's just the game we play at this point. So just understand like the movement deal, but you'll see here, generally speaking, he'll be able to run over there. The bumping is what's going to kind of make it a little diff difficult, but the big thing with this is understanding that the quarter zones are going to match those receivers really, really well. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, let's talk about the rest of the defense. So uh, last thing that I do want to show you is this uh, route combo, and then we'll talk about the rest of the defense and how to deal uh, with the tight end and how to deal with all the running back and all of that stuff, and maybe even how to deal with some motion over as well. So let's talk about this real quick. So this is uh, Pat's YN, and we're going to go with the slant, the post, and, um, you know, this right here. So what you'll see is this quarter zone will just absolutely be right there for that. And that's where that swap ball feature is really effective because if they're even behind a step or two, the swap ball will almost always take that away. So the le the rest of this in terms of how to defend uh, trip side in, what I like to do is, again, we have to have a box in one zone on the tight end. You got to think about like what, what can the tight end really do to hurt you uh, is a really, really important thing. Uh, to ask. So a couple things that Titan can do to hurt us. One of those is he could be on a, eventually when we get Titan Apprentice, he's going to be on a Titan Apprentice post. He can be on a Y post. He's it, Essentially anything going back across the middle of the field is where the Titan can hurt us the most. Okay. So what I like to do to counter, uh, to counter that is I like to put my middle line or my, my two outside linebackers. I really like to put them in seam flats. And then I'm going to take that safety and I'm just going to man him up on the tight end. So you see here, this is essentially the coverage shell. The purpose of this outside third on the right is twofold. Number one, if they run a running back wheel, or number two, it will bracket any kind of crossing route from the trip side. So let's say that we want to run, you know, a concept like, uh, let's see here, Pat's, or Pat's Y in again, and we'll show you this tight end is going to basically get guarded. So you'll see here. The man up is going to guard him. Now, that's going to be where your primary user is going to be, right? Uh, but you see the basics of the coverage really coming into focus. Last thing I want to show you with this defense that's really important is what happens if they motion uh, across. Because that is honestly probably the best thing they can do. But at the same time, really not a great thing for them. So let's say they motion across. Uh, an example of a motion across setup would basically be Typically, you're going to get something like um, curl flat, and they're going to motion a slant, and they're going to have you know maybe block a running back. So something like this right here, very popular route combo. What you're going to notice, and this is really important, is your quarter zones, whenever they motion, it's no longer trips, right? It's now doubles. And so your quarter zones are not going to match, which is really important. And so then you could get something like that that can potentially give you problems. Now, with defense still plays pretty well. All you need to do... If they motion, it's very simple. Um, all you need to do if they motion, because again, if you think about your setup, you seem flat at both linebackers. You've manned this guy up on the middle trips receiver, and then you've manned up that seam flat on the tight end. So you have you already have pretty decent coverage. The only thing you need to do when they motion is turn those quarter zones into third zones. So let's say, for example, they they you know want to motion across. And they want to do PA slot corner, which is a, a very popular setup here. I'm going to motion this guy across. The second I see motion on my end, I need to be putting these defenders in outside thirds or uh, in, back into thirds on the left and from the safety in the corner. Now what you're going to see is we're getting a really good match on this and we're going to be able to take that away because what we've done is we've turned it from a cover four box into a cover three match, which is much better for defending uh, any kind of trip set. Now we explain this a lot more in depth in the Patreon and really go into the specifics for you on this. So if you want to get access to the full defensive ebook, join the Patreon today for just $10. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.